it's Roy. I'm glad to be back with you. It's been a few days since I've been able to do a recording. Well, actually, it's been about a week. Uh, so, let me tell you what's been going on. If you watched my last couple of videos, you've seen that uh, I have been doing some remodeling, not by choice, but the subfloor in our house had to be redone. So, we thought it was just going to be partly in the bedroom, but they ended up being out problems throughout the whole subfloor throughout the whole house so we had to redo the whole subfloor so meanwhile I'm dealing with that then the next thing that happened was my computer crashed tip to everybody listening if you have a computer make sure I had a Windows PC computer so make sure that if you have a PC like that that you need to back up your documents you need to file your documents put them on thumb drives a hard drive external hard drive something I'm gonna try to take my computer and get it worked on and see at least I can get some files off of it because there's a lot of stuff about eight years worth of stuff on there that I need the computers about eight years old now anyway so I listen to my son-in-law and uh, some other other people around and my daughter and they all have Apple Mac computers, so they're telling me how fun and easy and fast they were. It'd be easy for me to learn. So I went to the computer store and talked to a guy there who was very knowledgeable. And uh, he uh, showed me a little bit on the computer. And so I ended up getting an Apple MacBook Pro. And I'm going to tell you, I feel like a child trying to learn it all over again. It's not that it's much difference, and the speed's a lot faster than my old computer, but everything's backwards on from PC to Mac, or some things are a little different. But one thing I learned is make sure that I keep everything stored in the cloud, keep everything stored files, everything I'm working on, so that, that way I don't lose everything again. Uh, oh, and as you can see right now, I'm in my, I'm in my wife's little garden oasis so it's summertime it's hot it's about 100 degrees outside maybe a little bit more so we got some things growing mostly plants but she does a lot of vegetable gardening in the springtime so this has changed quite a bit just in the last couple couple months we had all kinds of vegetables growing but summertime was hot and some plants are were done producing so that was it but i thought i'd start off the video here and then I'll show you, I'm going to turn you around and then we're going to go up to steps and then I'm going to head back to the eBay room and to the treasure center and I'll show you what's sold. So let me turn you around. Okay, as you can see, starting to go up these steps, there's the old bathroom sink and the other one that had to be replaced. We'll go down the ramp here. And you see that trailer right there and all the parts pieces. So that's all part of the subfloor. We are going to get, we got, took out the dishwasher. We never really used it and it was old and never worked right anyway. So we decided we'll get rid of the dishwasher. Oops, sorry. I'm going to try to keep this from being too shaky. Anyway, that whole trailer full of junk is mostly all of the subfloor. And up under here is the, the old floor, the floor, the old floor flooring that we had and uh, we're gonna the contractor that got it is gonna buy it off of us so he can uh, use it for whatever he wants to use it for the flooring itself wasn't that bad but we decided to get in the new flooring anyway so i'm going to take you around and we're going to go into my treasure center walk through my path of, by my house like i said i'm sure this is a little shaky right now so bear with me and uh, we'll take you into the in, into the treasure center. All right, yeah, we're going into my old workshop. It's pretty cluttered because we still got some stuff out of closets and different things that we had. And now we're going to the hidey hole of the the treasure center. All right, here we are. And there's my new there's my new computer. So let me get you set down over here, get you situated. 
Oh, sorry about that. So I got. So anyway, I got the new computer and I'm really happy with it. But like I said, I'm learning the process. Um, but uh, so that was my key tip for the day: is if you have a computer, or you, uh, no matter what kind of computer you have, make sure you're storing everything. There's many times I'm already started working on this computer, and I said, "Oh, let me get that out of the folder while I can." It's on the old, older computer. Like I said, I'm hoping to get that computer uh, taken to a computer repair shop. Maybe they'll fix it, uh, and I'll use it as a spare for whatever, maybe for shipping or something. Or if they don't fix it, maybe I can at least get the files off of it. Please let me get some of the files off of it. It's got, I would say, a good five years or more worth of pictures. I have saved some other pictures of thumb drives and different things. But there's about five years of pictures that I'd like to get back. Anyway, c'est la vie. So let's get into uh, what sold. And I'm going to be looking down my computer while I'm telling you this. And then I'll, I'll show you what sold up here. But the first thing that I sold was a, another box of chalk. If you didn't know, it was a box of billiard chalk, pool chalk. Um, I sold it. It's a gray color. I'm running out. As a matter of fact, let me take you over here real quick. Uh, move some stuff around. Turn my, I turn the air conditioner off so you can see. But that's uh, all the chalk that I've got left. I started off with uh, 75 boxes, and I'm down to probably. Well, I'd have to check the inventory, but I'm down. I'm down to probably maybe 20 boxes. So that's really good. Uh, anyway, so I sold another box of chalk, uh, gray color. It sold for six dollars and forty-one cents. I was doing a discount right now. Normally, it's uh, around six seventy-five or six ninety-five a box, but that's that chalk that I've told you about in recent videos that I paid a dollar a piece for them. I bought them off of eBay for seventy-five boxes for seventy-five dollars. Um, turn around and sell them for six dollars, and like this one sold for six dollars and forty-one cents. So another good good flip ebay arbitrage <laughs> so the next item that sold was an xbox 360 games uh, it's called bayonetta i think that's how i pronounced it. i think i pronounced it right and uh it doesn't they don't this one wasn't a very high price one but it came in a box that i paid uh about uh like 20 xbox games this, this one this lot and it sold for four dollars and 74 cents plus the buyer paid the shipping so doesn't sell for very high uh some of the games sold for better this one wasn't a very popular game but i'm glad to get it like i said i didn't pay but probably 50 cents how many, how many games was it 15 dollars maybe a dollar but that's all right like I said, I've already made my money back out of it, and I still got 12 more games to go, or 10 more games to go. So that was another good one. The next next item that sold was a vintage Monet Hart pendant. It's a gold tone costume jewelry. It has a the heart had the heart had a, a silver bow. Oh, you can see it in the picture. Um, it's on black onyx. It was real pretty. I've had it for a little while. Um, uh, it was one of those items that I bought in a lot of costume jewelry. I do like to sell costume jewelry, especially ones that have names on them, um, that are uh, signed names like uh, Tafari, Monet, different pieces like that. Uh, some of them will sell for pretty good. And if you find some really nice ones, some old vintage ones, there's some rare ones out there. There, those some of, some of those were worth hundreds and sit. You know, uh, a while back I sold a. Trafari Christmas tree brooch from I think the 1950s and sold it for $60 um, and I seen one like it that actually sold for over a hundred this was slightly different but it, it was a good one so that's something to, if you're into any kind of costume jewelry uh, do your research a little bit on it look online look at comps try to find things because most costume jewelry is just costume jewelry it's not worth anything people sell them in bags five ten pound 15 20 pound boxes of them uh you can buy for cheap but 
in in those or if you go looking around and you look for a certain uh named uh, the uh, artist names some of them are worth a little money like i said this one wasn't anything super popular but uh it was a vintage monet and it sold for five dollars 95 cents the buyer paid the shipping so well worth it um oh and i probably didn't like i said i probably didn't even pay i I don't know. I, I probably bought a bag of different jewelry, and this one probably didn't even cost 10 cents. So, you know, it's profit. The next item that I sold, and I'm sorry, like I said, I'm looking down my computer, but uh, the next item that sold was a vintage art glass pair. It's prominently red, it has blue on the bottom, and it has a green leaf. The paperweight, it weighed about two pounds. The buyer paid $22.95 plus shipping on top of that. So that was really good buy. I paid a dollar for it. The uniqueness of the paperweight is it's clear glass. Like I said, it's primarily got a, a pigment of red in, in it. You'll see it in the picture. It's got some blue on about it and the leaf has green. Well, if you look at the straight on, it's just clear glass. But as you rotate that paperweight, that green would reflect out so that green showed up so I had a green leaf it was really unique um, I shot in the description if you go to my eBay store and you go to what sold you can find it you'll see the different pictures if you want to know more of what I was talking about and you'll see how it's a clear glass but as you rotate it how the green leaf would come out and it's a good perspective but that was a good buy like I said I sold it I bought it for a dollar Sold it for $22.95 and sh with the uh, shipping added. The next item I showed in a few videos I got in a haul video, um, probably a couple weeks ago, was a FBI Bureau Investigation mug. It's a, uh, it came from the San Antonio FBI uh, Bureau. The mug was used but excellent condition. Um, any kind of flaws or anything like that that I have on a product I put down in my description I always disclose any kind of flaws there is that's something I've put out in other videos and I'll tell it again if you are a reseller or a seller and you sell on any kind of platform such as eBay Amazon Etsy Macari you name it if you have any item that has any kind of a flaw disclose it it's not you might have to drop the value down a little bit from a, a, a really good quality or a new piece but like this coffee cup here I paid uh, I think a dollar dollar fifty for it um, and it sold for eighteen dollars and ninety five cents so it was a good little flip I'll show you the pictures up here like I said it has the Department of Justice Bureau of Investigation FBI on, on one side the seal and on the other side it says FBI San Antonio so it was a really good cup I always try to find if you can find law enforcement cups or especially FBI mug, mug coffee mugs things like that those those will sell pretty good anyway going on the next item the next item that sold was a Victoria's Secret pink and canvas tote beach bag uh, it's just a little tote bag um, it was uh, really nice really good condition um, I sold it for eleven dollars and ninety five cents plus the buyer pay, paid the shipping uh, I sold it to, to move and get out Victoria's Secret stuff was sell but the market is flooded so if you're gonna sell something and get it at a good price and you can flip it that's good I bought this one I paid it I paid a, uh, a dollar for it um maybe I had maybe a little over a dollar um uh, and uh I sold it for eleven dollars and ninety five cents the buyer paid the shipping so that was good good profit right there there's I found the exact same one in, in comps selling for fifteen seventeen dollars but they were sporadic uh and that was the low price well I figured I only paid a dollar maybe a little over a dollar for it sell it quick 11.95 get it out of here so that's what I did list it get it out so the next item that sold was a Soul Calibur 4 Xbox 360 game 
this one's not a very popular game um, like I said I already made my money back in, in the games that I had purchased this is another one of that same lot I believe so again a dollar or less into it and I try not I really don't want to pay a dollar for it but you know I um, I, I don't remember what how many games were in there I may have there may have been 20 games some I bought for $15 so I paid a little less than a dollar something like that anyway it only sold for four dollars and seventy four cents uh, and the buyer paid the shipping on that one so like I said I already got my money back so every little one I sell right now pennies nickels bread and butter type item uh, it's all worth it it's all it's all profit so that's good the next item I sold uh, was another one from a, a lot video from about a couple weeks ago. Was a vintage set, a, a German lead coaster set. Um, I explained in that video. It's made in West Germany, so anytime you find a product that's made in West Germany, you know it was before the fall of the Berlin Berlin Wall during the Reagan era, so uh, you know it's 1980s and before uh all the way back to you know the world war uh so that you know that's the uh, west germany anyway this uh the uh, coasters were really excellent well cared for excellent condition no scratches marking mars no breaks cuts or any cracks or anything they were real beautiful the box the box was beat up it's been moved around a little bit i disclosed that in the description took plenty of pictures uh had you know a few by the buyer asked a couple of questions i gave an answer and a per and they uh, liked them and they bought them right away and they sold for 23 dollars and 70 cents uh with free shipping so uh, you just wrap it up padded it really good put it in a, a pfe a padded flat rate envelope mailed it right out so there was no problem that was really good again another one of those probably paid for paid a dollar or so item for so well worth it again profit 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 and the last item I kind of saved it for the last again look at that picture um, it's called a lavender lap desk it's a natural cherry um, it comes with a little stand if you look at the picture matter of fact I'll probably show you two three different pictures of this product um, or maybe I'll just show the one and I'll describe it anyway it's a kidney shaped laptop desk so let me explain I live about an hour from the beach I'm used to seeing boogie boards or some surfboards or different things like that but boogie boards everywhere when I first walked by it I just saw this wood board and I have seen plain wood boogie boards I didn't look at the shape I just saw the wood board sitting on the shelf um, some boogie boards will sell for good money but there's a big bulky item you got to worry and if it's going to be one it's got to be it's got to be unique to sell it otherwise it's not even worth it, worth trying there's too many you know there's too many cheap ones and everything well i saw it and it caught my eye but i thought no i kept on walking at it it was at a thrift store and i kept on walking and i thought i saw it as i was coming back up another aisle and i said well let me take a look at it and as i picked it up and looked at it, i realized that well right away it wasn't a boogie board because it had this kidney shaped outline and i thought well what is this it's a piece of wood and i looked and they wanted eight dollars for it okay if i started getting it in my mind that it was a laptop of some sort to hold your laptop computer so it's a lap desk but i still thought well i don't want to pay eight dollars for it well, it had the stamp. It's a lavender stamp. Um, so anyway, I looked it up on the computer on eBay. I looked up comps. I looked up some other sources sources that have it, and learned lavender lap desks are very well highly known quality desks. Many executives and people that work at home love to have this type of desk this model this this style uh, again blew my mind uh, I sold it for forty seven dollars and thirty nine cents 
it had a couple little scratches it was it was used it was still really good condition but it had it had its little flaws um so i was you know i was really happy i i paid eight dollars for it sold it for 47 dollars 39 cents um but what i noticed is there's a some newer ones this is an older kind of older style there's some newer style ones out there and they're selling even at used they're selling at a hundred hundred and twenty dollars brand new two hundred and fifty dollars i even saw one that had like a little secret little second little stand on top i guess for your coffee cups or whatever even though it's on your lap i'd be afraid to spill it anyway that one was selling new for over three hundred dollars i couldn't believe it but lavender lap disc this is and that this one's I guess they make them in cherry because that seemed to be the most popular it looked like a maybe a picture of a cherry tree that as, as their symbol but anyway um, it's uh, all natural it's another thing that's uh, organic natural and people buy it, uh, like it anyway something to look out for if you happen to see a kidney shaped lap desk for a laptop computer or writing desk or whatever you want to call it for your lap and it has a little round circle symbol on it and it says lavender and i'm assuming that's how you pronounce it it's lavender l e v e n g e r lavender lap desk uh, pick it up if you can get it for cheap pick it up now i'm gonna tell you i shipped this out with fedex um i had to kind of frank a box it take some big pieces of uh, cardboard boxes that i had uh patted it folded it and put it because this thing is I don't know wide 30 inches long you know it, it, it's a it's a bulky item uh, but it didn't cost me through FedEx it didn't cost me but a little over eight dollars so eight dollars to purchase eight dollars to send it because I sit, did give free shipping sixteen dollars but I turned around and sold it for forty seven dollars and thirty nine cents excellent excellent sale so bolo item if you happen to find those keep them look at uh, anyway, that's uh, that was all of what sold over this last uh, week, or I guess so. It wasn't very, wasn't very much, but it was some good items, some some money makers help th helps to pay the bills. Uh, I've got a new quote. It's my new R RKTC RK Treasure Center quote. It's to all you sellers out there, all you resellers out there. Remember, there's treasure everywhere, so find it, sell it, and profit. <laughs> That's my new quote. Put it on. I got it up there on a banner. I think I'm gonna get it on a t-shirt. My daughter, she makes t-shirts. I think I'm gonna have my daughter put it on a t-shirt. So remember, there's treasures out there everywhere. Find it, sell it, profit. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day and take care.